कोविड नाइन्टीन इट्स अ ग्लोबल इश्यू राइट नाउ सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बी कॉशियस स्टे हेल्दी ड्रिंक लॉट्स ऑफ वाटर एंड फॉलो ऑल दी हाइजीनिक टिप्स एंड प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन एंड दिव्या योर मैथ फैसिलिटेटर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी पार्ट ट्वेल्व ऑफ अ फास्ट ट्रैक सीरीज सो इन दिस फास्ट ट्रैक सीरीज एज यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग प्रीवियस इयर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विद द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड फॉर्मली इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस पार्ट दैन प्लीज डू गो एंड वॉच इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर प्रॉबिलिटी विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर पेपर टू सो दिस इज अ चैप्टर वेर इन यू डोंट फाइंड लॉट ऑफ कैलकुलेशन लॉट ऑफ फॉर्मले बट all you need to do is you have to think logically and carefully clear so moving on to our first question this is given in 2019 as a one mark up so from the letters of english alphabet so you have to find the probability that the letter is a consonant okay so how many alphabets are there in english so you know that there are 26 alphabets in english okay and how many consonants are there in english as you all know that a e i o u these are vowels okay and there are five vowels so out of 26 if you are subtracting five then you get consonants yes so all the other letters other than these five are consonants okay so how do you get probability that a letter is consonant so probability is nothing but number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes okay so now the number of favorable outcomes that means the number of consonants are 21 okay and the total number of outcomes here the total number of letters is nothing but 26 clear so this is the probability that a letter is consonant very simple one marker as i said there are no calculations no formulae only logic so now our next question is given in 2019 and we say two marker okay so in a bag there are balls numbered from 1 to 50 and you have to find the probability that when you pick up a ball it should be a two digit multiple of 7 okay so now what are multiples of 7 they are nothing but 7 14 yes so now we want two digit multiple of 7 which is nothing but it starts from 14 so 14 21 28 35 40 49 and after the next multiple 56 is greater than 50 yes it is not one of the balls present here so we'll take till 49 clear so now just count it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means the number of two digit multiples of 7 present in the bag are only 6 okay that means possible outcomes number of possible outcomes are 6 okay and we know that probability of this event is nothing but number of possible outcomes by total number of outcomes now the possible outcomes are 6 by the total number of possible outcomes are 50 okay so simplifying it is nothing but 2 3 is a 2 25 is a 50 yes so it is 3 by 25 so the probability that you pick up a ball which contains two digit multiples of 7 are 3 by 25 moving on to our next question this is given in 2019 and is a four marker okay when two dice are thrown at random okay and you know that on each dice you have six faces yes and each face contains a particular number from 1 to 6 that means when you are throwing two dice at random so the number of total outcomes are nothing but now on one die you have numbers from 1 to 6 okay and on the other dice also it is from 1 to 6 so the total outcomes are 6 into 6 so there are 36 outcomes in total okay so now the question is what is the probability of getting the sum of the dots on the top as a prime number clear so now as you all know that now the prime numbers are nothing but 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 and so on but here when the dice are thrown at random and for example i assume that on both the die you have a number 6 and 6 so the total sum is 12 which is highest that means we'll stop till 11 since the total sum is only 12 so we'll stop till 11 11 is the last prime number okay in this case now 
let us write the possible outcomes in the form of a order pair okay order pair is nothing but in this way you will write okay so the first number is nothing but the number on the first die and the second number is the number on the second die clear so now suppose if i want the number 2 okay for the number 2 the combination should be it should be one on one die and one on the second die also yes now if i want a number 3 okay the sum of the number should be 3 then on the first day it can be 1 on second day it can be 2 yes similarly on the first day it can be 2 and on second day it can be 1 so these are the two possibilities for the sum to be 3 okay similarly let us check for 5 so if you want the sum to be 5 then on the first day it if it is 1 then on second day it has to be 4 yes similarly if it is two on the first dice then it has to be three on the second dice clear now if it is three on the first dice it has to be two on the second dice yes and also do you realize that two comma three is different from three comma two yes because they are different dice two belongs to first die and here three belongs to second die and here it is different okay so now the next combination is if it is four on the first die then it has to be one on the second die okay so these are the possible combinations for the sum to be five now let us take seven so for seven now if it is one on the first die similarly it has to be six on the second die okay now if it is two on the first die it has to be five on the second die if it is 3 on the first day, it has to be 4. Similarly, if it is 4 here, it has to be 3 here. Okay. So, if it is 5 here, it has to be 2. And if it is 6 on the first day, it has to be 1 on the second die. Clear? Now, let us take for 11. So, for the sum to be 11, if it is 1 on the first die, observe clearly. If it is 1 on the first die, then it should be 10 on the second die, which is not possible. Okay, since you have numbers from 1 to 6 only on the dice. Okay, so if it is 2 on the first die, it has to be 9 on the second die, which is also not possible. Now, if it is 3 on the first die, it has to be 8 on the second die, which is not possible. Now, if it is 4 on the first die, then it has to be 7 on the second die, which is also not possible. If it is 5 on the first die, then it has to be 6 on the second die, which is a possible combination. Okay, so next, if it is 6, after 5, if it is 6 on the first die, then it has to be 5 on the second die. Okay, so only these are the two possible combinations. Now, all these are the possible combinations are nothing but the possible outcomes. Okay, so the possible outcomes are so number of possible outcomes are you have to just count these order pairs okay so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so there are 15 possible outcomes okay so now let us write the probability of this event it is nothing but total number of possible outcomes by total outcomes total outcomes is 36 okay so 3 5s are 15 3 12s are 36 so the answer is 5 by 12 very simple only thing you need to do is you have to firstly write the possible outcomes correctly moving on to our next question what is the probability of getting exactly two heads when three coins are tossed simultaneously okay so when three coins are tossed the probability is either you get three heads yes so it can be head head and head okay or it can be tail tail and tail all the coins you might get all tails or all heads at a time or the other possibilities are you may get head tail and tail okay or you may get head head and tail clear or it can be tail head and head yes or it can be tail tail and head okay or it can be tail head and tail okay or it can also be head tail head okay so other than this you don't find any other combinations so these are the total outcomes when three coins are tossed okay so now just count it is one two three four five six seven eight so the total outcomes are how many total outcomes are eight 
okay and now we want the probability for exactly two heads now look here for exactly two heads now this contains exactly two heads okay and this combination also contains exactly two heads and you have this combination with exactly two heads okay that means the possible outcomes possible outcomes are three okay so now the probability of this event is nothing but possible outcomes by total number of outcomes now it's your time to do the diy okay so from the first 20 natural numbers so the numbers are from 1 to 20 okay natural number starts from 1 from the first 20 natural numbers so what is the probability that a number is even composite number so first and let us write the prime number so you know that prime number starts from 2 2 3 5 7 yes and you have already learned that 2 is the only even prime number okay so all other numbers are composite all other prime numbers are composite only 2 is even prime number okay now here we want even composite number okay so let us write the numbers it is 2 4 6 8 all these are even numbers so you'll write even numbers till 20 okay and 2 is prime so you will eliminate 2 since you want composite so all these are composite numbers as you all know now just count the number of possible outcomes and check the probability so always most of the times you get problems on cards okay so firstly let me explain you the concept before getting into the actual problem in deck of cards you have 52 cards okay and these 52 cards are divided into four suits okay and each suit consists of 13 cards now out of these 13 cards you have three face cards plus one ace okay so the face cards are nothing but king queen and jacks kings queens and jacks okay plus you have one ace okay this together along with numbers two three four five you have 13 cards okay in order and in such way you have four suits clear so this total package is nothing but these 52 deck of cards so now the question is out of the deck of 52 cards you have to find the probability of getting a prime number on the top of the card and face on it okay so firstly let us find this probability now as i already told you so in the deck of cards you have four suits and in each suit you have ace kings queens jacks and numbers from 2 to 10 okay so now you want a prime number on the card that means it should be something a number from 2 to 10 yes so you know that the prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 13 but here our numbers are stopping at 10 so we stop at 7 okay so these are the possible outcomes so number of possible outcomes are 1 2 3 and 4 okay so in this way now this is in one suit you have four prime numbers similarly you have four suits in the complete deck of cards that means you have a complete of 16 prime numbers in the four suits did you get my point so in one suit you have four prime numbers and in four suits you want how many prime numbers are that that means it is nothing but four into four the answer is 16 prime numbers you have in complete in the deck of cards okay so this is a possible outcome now total number of outcomes are nothing but you have 52 cards so total number of outcome is 52 so now the probability of the event is possible outcomes are 16 by total outcomes are 52 since you have 52 cards okay you can simplify it further now you, have, you should also find the face on it okay as i told you that kings queens and jacks are called face cards yes that means in each suit you have three face cards clear in that way we want the number of face cards in the total of four suits okay in each suit you have three face cards and you want the total number of face cards in the complete deck of 52 cards in that means in four suits so it is three into four suits okay so that means you have 12 face cards in total okay that means the total number of possible outcomes are 12 so now the probability is nothing but 12 by as usual we have 52 deck of cards so it is 52 you can simplify it further if you want moving on to our next question if two dice are thrown at random so you have to find the number appearing on the top of the two dice the product of these numbers should be six okay so now you know that the dice contains numbers from 1 to 6, maximum of 6, okay? So, total possible outcomes, total number of outcomes are 
6 into 6 which is 36 as we have learnt in our earlier problems also. So now we want the product of the numbers appearing on the dice to be 6. Okay. So product should be 6. Okay. So let us write the factors of 6. It will be very easy if you write the factors. So it is nothing but 1 into 6 is a factor. Okay. 6 into 1 is a factor. 2 into 3 and 3 into 2. So these are the possible factors of 6. And as you know that 6 is a number. 6, 1, 2, 3 are all the numbers on the dice. So these can be the possible outcomes of the dice. Okay. So let me write it in the form of order pairs. So it is nothing but if 1 is a number on the first die, then 6 should be number of the second dice. Okay. So if 6 is a number on the first die, then 1 should be the number of the second dice. Now, similarly, if 2 is a number on the first die, then 3 should be the number on the second dice. Okay. And similarly, 3, 2. So the total number of possible outcomes are 4. Okay. So possible outcomes are 4. Now the probability is nothing but possible outcomes by total outcomes is 36. So 4 ones are 4 nines are 36. So the probability is 1 by 9. Moving on to our next problem. It is given in 2020 pre-public paper as a 4 marker. Okay. So the total number of balls are 18 and blue balls are represented by x and the red balls are half of blue balls. Okay. So since blue balls are x then red balls are half of x that means x by 2. Okay. And then you have to find the probability of the blue balls and red balls clear so firstly let us find the value of x so x plus x by 2 is 18 do you agree total of blue balls plus red balls is 18 yes so that is what i have written so it is nothing but just take lcm it is 2 so this is 2x plus x is equal to 18 clear so 2x plus x is 3x is equal to this 2 i can send it send it to the other side so it is 2 into 18 it is 36 so x is equal to 36 divided by 3 which is nothing but 12 okay since 12 3 is a 36 so x is 12 that means number of blue balls are 12 now the total number of red balls is x is 12 by 2 which is 2 ones are 2 6 are 12 so red balls are 6 and blue balls are 12 and the total number of balls are 18 okay now let us find the probability of blue balls first okay so probability of blue balls is nothing but total possible outcomes here total number of blue balls are 12 so that is nothing but the possible outcomes by total outcomes are 18 total number of balls is 18 so it is 18 clear so 6 2 is a 12 6 3 is a 18 so probability of blue balls is 2 by 3 now for red balls total number of red balls are 6 that means probability of red balls is possible outcomes are 6 by total number of balls are 18 okay so 6 ones are 6 threes are so probability of red balls is 1 by 3 now recapitulating probability of event is given by possible outcomes number of possible outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes and the value of probability this value is always between 0 and 1 okay so if the value of the probability is 0 then it is an unsure event okay and if the value is 1 then it is called a sure event clear so now as in the previous problem we have done probability of blue balls and red balls yes so the sum of the probabilities of the individual events is always one. So if you know the logic then you can do magic with probability. So I hope you like this video. If yes then give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.